Okay, so this is the FF6 combo. It's an FF6 Rapid DC and it's also an FF6 Remote Control all wrapped into one. Wrapped up into one. You've got a, a small handset there with a little aerial. You shouldn't need to use the aerial because inside we've got a um, 24 volt, 24 volt battery. Sorry, a 12 volt battery, which is really powerful. Give you a good range up of at least 80, 90 yards. So um, it's a, a remote control flapper on the button. Button A. Press button B, and it will go into a cycle to tell you it's taking the command, and then it will run at three seconds on and around about eight seconds off. So press button B. Okay, that's now on a timer, so that's running at eight seconds on, sorry, eight seconds off, three seconds on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can override it if you see a pigeon and you want to quickly interrupt it. Press button B and it will interrupt the, uh, the cycle. Take it out of the timer and back to remote. Just press button B again. It will tell you it's coming out. And then it's back on remote. So button A is remote. As with all the uh, remote control FF6s, you can set the speed simply by pressing both buttons together. So that will carry on running. Button B will take the speed down to where you want it. And this is great if you're shooting pigeons and crows because you can slope right down for the crows. Obviously they don't need to be flapping as fast as the pigeons do. And crank it right down, lock it in. And that is now locked in at that speed. And also, when you swap back to a timer mode, that will flap at the speed you've set it. Again, it will still do 8 seconds on, off, uh, 3 seconds on at that speed. To set it back up to maximum speed, literally throw buttons again, set it running. Hold your finger on button A for about 10 seconds. Lock it in. And that's running back up again. That's the FF6 combo, which is the FF6 Rapid DC and the FF6 Remote Controlled, all wrapped up into one flapper. Thank you.